Hey folks, it's Lonnie Johnson back with another video. I bought this Chrysler GM nylon fuel line repair kit. It says to put the hose in hot water and let it set for 10 minutes. Well, that just doesn't work for me. Uh, so I've come up with a couple other options. I'll show you what I had to do to make this work. Okay, I got this barb and a set of vice grips. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this barb up. I'm going to push these two pieces of plastic on there like so because there's no way you can push that in there the way it is I mean, it just won't go you got to make this pliable enough for it to go on there but instead of heating this up I'm going to heat this up yeah. I'm going to take the heat gun I'm going to heat it up for about 30 seconds because this gets hot really quick Let's see if that works. Okay, I'm gonna have to heat that side up a little bit more, but it worked for this side. Okay. I have to leave it on there a little longer. It takes a little bit of force. And there it is. It's all on there. It was tougher to get this piece on than it was this piece. Now there is another way you can buy a compression fitting if you don't have a heat gun or if you don't feel that that's a uh, secure way to keep your line from leaking. Hey okay, now it's probably best to wear gloves when doing this. So what I'm going to do here I got my piece cut, it's right here. I'm going to take this and connect these together. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up really good so that I can press them together. Get hot really quick. It also gets the pliers hot, so you'll definitely need to wear a pair of gloves. Let's see if that's hot enough. Okay, that's that side. Let's see if we can get this side on. There it is. Okay, that worked. I hope this helps. Comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Thanks for watching.